This segment is being sponsored by the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency. Join us in preserving and protecting Tennessee's wildlife. All right, guys, this next segment's being sponsored by Taylor's Archery there at 100 East Lauderdale Street over in Tullahoma, Tennessee. Or y'all can give owner Tracy Taylor a call at 931-563-7706 and let them take care of all your archery needs. All right, welcome back to the studio. As y'all know tonight, we've been talking about trash, how it's affecting our lakes and, and getting into our waterways and, and other things. But what we're gonna do now is, y'all know Dayton and I, we, we'd like to fish anyhow, whether it's on a boat or on a bank or what it is. But we're actually gonna take you out and show you how we use sunlight and chunk rock to help us find fish certain times of year and uh, so you're going to get some fishing tactic here and we're going to talk a little bit about the trash here as well so enjoy this hope you pick up a tip or two we're going to go on over to the banks and see how this fishing trip goes Try to teach y'all how to do this off the bank, catch these crappie all over the lake. Great big crappie. It's that time of year, y'all. Feel a good one? Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that right there. Big old black crappie. Off the bank in the afternoon. That right there, hold him up there, Deacon. That one out there will be going on the skillet. All right, buddy, let's get out there and get another one. Move our stuff around. Okay. Hey guys, we're out here today just doing something that we love to do. You know, Dayton and I, we've both done this our whole lives. It's something we've grown up doing. We go around here and we fish these banks a lot and we really enjoy it. But it seems like nowadays, man, every time we come out here, we see more and more of these trash issues. And uh, look here, Dayton's done putting another knob. Oh, look, he's catching these little old bitty fish again. We'll see right get there. over there. Oh, where he is. Man. For us to be able to come out here and do this right here, catch these crappie and do what we enjoy to do, we've got to do our part to keep this trash out of our lakes and out of our ditches and our roadsides, because this is where it ends up, a lot of this stuff. You know, Dayton made a point a while ago, there's some packages of power bait laying over here. That don't mean necessarily somebody was down here fishing and left it laying on the bank. It probably blew out of a boat down here, going down the water, and it was probably by somebody who completely unintentionally had it blow out of the boat. That's right. Uh, so the point is, just securing your trash. Make sure it's secure. Get it down inside of a box in the boat. Put it in to keep a trash bag on the boat. Maybe tuck it down into one of your storage boxes or something like that. And just do a quick deck check before you take sure. off. Because it's easy to leave a water bottle or a pack of bait or something like that laying on the I deck mean, of the boat. I'm guilty of it myself. All of us I mean, I'm I mean, guilty of a of pack flying out running down the lake. Yeah, any and, of us have done it. And you really can't go get it because you don't know exactly where it blew yeah. out. So therefore, yeah. if that happens a hundred times a day. That's right. And But like we're sitting here right now, there's a water bottle, there's a bag, yeah. there's another bottle here, fishing line. It's just something we got to take care of for the future. That's I right. mean, the environment ain't going to last forever for what impact it's getting right now. That's right, and your son, he's been down here fishing this week, you know, with yep. us and, and having a good time, and all our kids get down here, and, and our point is, we want to make sure that they can come out here when they're our age, bring their kids with them, and if we keep at this pace right here, guys, they're going to have to wade through waist deep trash to get out here. So, Definitely. Uh, and it's like right over here, I've got some footage of some trash, and 35 feet from it's trash cans. So, you know, it's not hard. Just pick it up, what you brought, yeah. and take it with you. It's it's very, very important. It just It's just unbelievable. Camping on islands, people leave their trash bags over there thinking somebody's going to pick them up. The water comes up yeah. and now you've got a whole mess. Yeah. So you got to take it back what you bring with you. It's very, very important. It is. There he is. Oh, you miss you got him, Deacon? Crappie? Small one. Oh, you know. He ain't even got the fighting good. 
Okay. Little yellow belly. Yellow belly. Look here, Deacon. A lot of people don't know what a yellow belly is. Let's show them. The yellow belly is a stripe, which is a yellow bass. Some of the best eating there is in the lake. Just hold them still there, Deacon. Yeah. Now, that's something we love to eat. And you catch them in both lakes, all in Middle Tennessee. There's no lemon on them. There's no link lemon on them. But that's some fine dinner food right there. Uh, Y'all seen the method that we used to do this? many times over you know we use a, a jig and a float combination uh to do this but what i want to talk about then more so today is just what we're doing today where and why so see these large chunk rocks running around through here so these run all the way around the bank line and what they're doing is you can tell that they're getting sunlight and they're warming up they're getting a lot a lot warmer than other areas around them and this particular bank right here is catching more sun than other banks so what it's doing is it's warming up faster and these crappie are in here in these chunk rock. They're just, we'll find where these rocks are leading out into deeper water, throw out there in around those chunk rock and that's where we're finding these fish. So today we've really caught some big ones, some nice big black crappie especially, uh, super excited. Uh, but it's all been about these rocks. It's been all about just the warmth and the, the difference made by finding these chunk rocks coming out into deeper water, like in this area right here. So this is something you want to keep in mind when it's this time of year and the water's still a little bit cool, temperatures aren't quite up as warm as, as what you'd like to see them. This is the kind of spot to come to because they're going to be warmer than it is everywhere else. And you can see here, uh, that's where they like to hang out. So we've got a lot of fish on the stringer already. We're just working our way around these banks. Still got a long way to go. We're just going to keep working around trying to add to them. We're gonna get wet. Hey, they ain't in here, Dayton. I, I mean, I wish they's in here. I mean, you, why didn't you bring your bucket and a rain suit? And you, you want me? To, I'll make you feel a little better about being wet. I got a rain suit in the truck. <laughs> Slabby slab slab. Three more just spots. That's a good man. Another one to add though. That we're gonna be taking home. About 15. So that's a good thing. Now we're gonna get them on, get them cleaned up, guys. Enjoyed another awesome day bank fishing here in Middle Tennessee. I highly uh, recommend get out and walk these banks. Try to find these fish in the springtime. It's a great time, especially around these big rocks. They're going to warm up faster than everything else. That's what these fish are doing. They're in here in these chunk rocks right now. It's a great place to be. Hey, look here. Whole bag of trash, 50 yard stretch of bank. The bag was laying on the bank. Yeah, Brand they new. They left us a bag. They left a bag there. on the bank with all this trash sitting out there up and down the bank. It don't take much to take care of what we are, our resources, guys. That's right. Don't depend on somebody else to come through. Try and do your part. I know it's not your part to pick up other people's trash, but we're going to have to start doing something like so, this. So I don't know where we're going to be able to get this taken care of, man. Yep. Hey, I tell you what, we're going to walk a whole 20 feet over here and throw it in that trash. Just right can. over here in the dumpster. I mean, it's going to be strenuous, but I think we can get it done. I'm wore out. We'll see what happens. All right. 
right, guys, it's time for this week's tip of the week. It's being sponsored by the Tennessee Outdoor Rendezvous and Deer Expo. That's coming up May the 21st and 22nd this year. Y'all can get info at tndeerexpo.com. It's going to be held out at the Farm Bureau Expo Center. That's at 945 Bedore Parkway over in Lebanon. If you are interested in coming to the event or being a vendor at the event, give our buddy West Stone a call, 615-444-8200, and they'll get you all set up. All right, welcome back. It is time to do this week's That's tip right. of the week. That's what right. you got for us over there, Dayton? Man, you know, everybody's fishing off the banks, fishing out of the boat, and they always throw that line in the water. You better check your props on your trolling motor, and you better check your big motor. Make sure you ain't got no braid, no nothing wrapped around your props. Don't take much of that to tear a seal up in the lower unit or get your bearings messed up in the trolling motor props. So spring of the year right now, the lake's been down. A lot of people are fishing, a lot of trash, a lot of stuff like that going on. So take your props off, check them, and it'll, you'll, you'll, tr you'll, you'll be loving me about a week from yeah, now. Yeah, when they find a big wad in their trolling yeah, motor or something, the trolling, motor, the the trolling motor ain't spinning. Yeah. You pull the prop off and it's just wadded up braid and everything in there. That's right. Well, that's a good tip. We're going to get ready to take a quick break. We'll be right back with the phone lines open and some more Southern Woods and Waters. 